Hi folks, welcome to the channel. My name's Colin, call sign MM0OPX and in this video I want to talk to you about three of my essential items um, that you certainly wouldn't go wrong having in your uh, toolbox um, when doing any uh, sort of antenna work. Now, moisture, it's your absolute number one enemy and we need to do everything we can to actually uh, to keep it out. Um, so, number one is uh, this liquid tape, liquid electrical tape, absolutely amazing stuff. Um, it's solvent based, it flashes off really, really quickly. Um, you know, within a couple hours, or even, you know, a few minutes, it's actually, you know, it's set. Um, if we look here, where I've used it on my feed point of my 20 meter moxin, you can see where I've split the coax, um, and I've just covered it in the liquid electrical tape, and you see I've used it on the elements as well. So what you do is when you actually paint it on, it just wicks in, and it just basically works its way around. So that's given me a completely a waterproof seal. Uh, a permanent seal and I don't need to worry about that at all um, when I put that up so real real good stuff um, next we've got self amalgamating tape and sometimes I use this in conjunction with these and these this is simply a adhesive or glue lined heat shrink now here's a, a typical um, you know PL259 now I only use uh, compression fittings um, the old type, they're used to screw it in and put the solder, I don't like those. You can use them, but I always like the compression types. Um, so when I'm actually preparing a coax lengths, um, what I like to do first, um, sometimes I need to actually put a length of a uh, smaller diameter glue line heat shrink. So I would, I would put it, imagine it being over here, and I put it over the coax and I build the diameter up so, somewhat. It just depends um, the type of coax that you're using. Some, like if you're using RG213, I don't know what that is, is that LMR400 or LMR240, whatever that diameter is, it's about um, half inch anyway, you would get away with just using this. Now this contracts about um, to a third of its size, this is 3 to 1, you can see it's shining on the inside there with the glue. Um, so sometimes it's just a case of making up your um, lead, putting over the glue lined heat shrink and then giving it a heat and that will give it a completely uh, waterproof seal. And if I'm joining it to another plug, I may have a barrel connector in the middle. On the other length of coax, it would be exactly the same as this. Um, but in the middle, what I would do to seal it is, I'd actually use some of this. Now this is self-amalgamating tape, so this is a type of tape. Um, think of it as a, a type of rubber. Uh, as you can see, it stretches. And what happens over time, and when you wrap it around something, actually, they call it self-amalgamates. It basically um, goes into one piece. So what you do is you've got your plug. Um, and you can just wrap it around your plug. Like so. Now, there is plenty of times where I've not used the glue line heat shrink for one reason or another. And I've just used a bit of that self-amalgamating tape. Now, that gives it a completely um, waterproof seal yet again. Absolutely brilliant stuff, and um, you know I've, I've I've used this for a number of years, and I've actually used the self amalgamating tape, and um, before I actually used the glue lined heat shrink uh, on the connectors. But I find that you just get a neater finish using the um, the, the the glue lined heat shrink. Um, again, back to the feed point for the moxin. Um, I actually forgot to, that I'm using RG58 on this um, uh, before it changed to some high power stuff. But um, I actually forgot to put some some of the smaller diameter heat shrink, some of this stuff on here. I was going to put a couple of layers on here, build it, build the diameter up, and then put the this over here, and then heat it. See if I did this just now, what would happen was it wouldn't actually contract enough, and there'd still be a gap uh, on the other side there. So I've just used the self amalgamating tape, and it's actually given it a completely waterproof seal, uh, more than uh, good enough. So there you have it. Just three items um, that I really wouldn't um, would be without. I've always got them here. Um, I'm running low on the tape and the um, glue and heat shrink. So I've got some of that on order because it never, ever goes wrong. So, um, you know, if you're a new ham, I mean, it doesn't even have to be ham radio. It could be TV, antennas, whatever. But, uh, you know, these are items that are always uh, good to have. Um, not particularly expensive, uh, when you, especially when you work, break it down into cost per use. This is about £11 here in the UK, so you have about another £3 to get that. So anyway, you're under £15 and you can have this um, have this delivered. Um, I get self-amalgamating tape. I think I actually got this from Amazon. 
and I don't think this was particularly expensive, five pounds, something like that. And the glue lined heat shrink, I just get this from eBay and I buy it in lengths by the meter, usually by two meters at a time. Um, I just placed an order today and I've got two meters of kind of this stuff and I was like for £1.50, £2 a metre, something like that. So if you actually break it down to cost per, you know, connector, it's not very much, as I say. It's always good to, it's always good to have. Okay, folks, so that's it. Just a quick one. Uh, if you like the stuff, please consider uh, giving me the uh, thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. Okay, 73 for now.